Hello and welcome to Vitamin G Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at another slim minimalist wallet. This is the Micro Sleeve by Bellroy. It comes in three colors. It comes in black, uh, a two-tone navy tan, and a two-tone caramel and kind of a dark gray. I went with the navy tan. Uh, in general, I try to get the, the colors that are a little bit more interesting, like you guys know what black leather looks like. Uh, I really couldn't decide between the navy tan and the, and the kind of brown gray. Went with the navy tan, uh, so hopefully it looks good. I've actually been using this for a little bit because I wanted to check it out, but I, I put it back in just so you can see kind of what the unboxing looks like. It comes in this cardboard sleeve that's really, you know, quite cheap. Um, and then it's just got a little tissue paper around it. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the unboxing and the package quality, and then it just has a little bit of info about how they recommend you use the micro sleeve. Uh, so again, this is the, the, the blue and tan. Now it's a relatively dark navy blue. Uh, I probably would have gone with the, with the brown and uh, gray if I'd known the blue was this dark. It really looks more, it doesn't look black, it's just, it's very close to black, it's very dark. So this wallet has 4.4 4 out of 5 stars on Amazon. Now the positive reviews are kind of exactly what you'd expect. It's a slim wallet, people like how small it is, people like how minimal it is. Uh, the negative reviews are concerned about the quality of the letters, leather, saying that it doesn't age very well, uh, and kind of, you know, for, for the price, it, it, it really could be nicer leather. Uh, and, and speaking of the price, this is $65 on Amazon right now. Now, it fluctuates relatively often. Most of the time, you'll find it for $65, but very frequently, about once a week or once every two weeks, it drops down to $58. So if I was in the market for, uh, for this wallet, I would wait for it to be fifty-eight dollars. You're saving seven bucks, and you know this is a this is a pretty expensive wallet. I think that savings is worth it. Now, my concern about the price of this wallet. Now, I've talked about the Accenture wallet, and this is my current daily driver wallet. Is the Accenture wallet, which is a sixty-dollar wallet, which is this guy right here. Uh, and so I've kind of talked about how for me a sixty-dollar wallet isn't unreasonable if it's your daily driver wallet and it lasts years. Uh, so I've had that for a number of years, and it's held up great. I really like it. So for me, spending $60 on a wallet, um, but it's the wallet I use every day, and I use it for a really long time, that's worth it. My concern with this is going to be, is it going to be robust enough to be a daily driver? Am I going to fit everything I need in it for every day, or is this going to be the type of wallet that you use, you know, maybe when you're going out and you don't want to bring a lot of stuff with you, or if you need a front pocket wallet, if you're doing, you know, a day trip somewhere and you don't want to have a big bulky wallet, or you're, you know, you know, if you're going to be on a subway and you're, you know, concerned about someone reaching in your pocket and you want to have your wallet in your front pocket, um, you know, kind of for for a for a specific use case, sixty five dollars is pretty expensive. If it's your daily driver wallet and you're going to use it for a long time, then I think it's reasonable. But there again, if you're going to use it for a long time, is this leather going to hold up for years? That I'm 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 really not sure of. And on you know on the listing on Amazon, it says that it is premium environmentally certified leather. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I've heard you know I, I'm used to you know genuine leather or top grain leather or full grain leather, um, or you know even vegan leather or you know things like that. I, you know premium environmentally certified leather. I, I don't know what that means. That to me sounds like it's probably not the highest quality leather. Now it's very it feels very nice and it actually smells pretty good too. Um, and it's it's very thin leather which I like because I you know. I, I want as little of the space as possible being being taken up by the leather. I want, you know, kind of the, the thickness and the robustness to be the cards and the cash. Uh, and it's nice. It's easy to get the cards in and out, which is great. I do like that. It's not really sticky leather. Um, but again, you know, for $65, you know, kind of what, the, my question is, where are the $65 going? If this is not, um, you know, full grain expensive leather, uh, you know, and it's not going into the packaging, which is fine. If you've seen my stuff before, I actually prefer packaging like this because you're going to throw it out anyway. You know, I don't want them spending $12 on the packaging and then charging me $12 more. Uh, but the question for me remains, if it's $65 and the cost is not from the leather and the cost is not from the packaging, you know, where exactly is the cost? And so, you know, from my perspective, I'm guessing, and I, I don't know, I'm guessing they're making, you know, probably 
35 to $55 of just straight profit on this wallet because it's also not expensive to ship. Uh, so, you know, and, and good for them. I have, I have nothing against companies making money, but, uh, you know, from my perspective, I think this should really be more like a $30 wallet or a $35 or a $40 wallet. 65 just seems a lot. I just don't, I don't quite get where that money is going um, to, to, to justify $65. That being said, it looks great. I've, I've used it for a day and I've already gotten compliments on it. I literally, you know, pulled it out to pay for something and someone immediately said, wow, that's a cool wallet. You know, what is that? Um, so it's a very nice looking wallet. It feels great in the hand. And we're going to talk about all the other things I like about it, but just kind of, you know, fundamentally, you know, wh where did that, where, where is $65 coming from? So loading this up with cards and cash, uh, what I have found is that, you know, so, so I, I really like to do one, one quick draw on each side. Uh, so for me, that is my credit card that I use for 90% of purchases, 95% of purchases. Uh, and then I have my RFID ID badge for work on the other side. So I can just um, put that up to the scanner and get right in the building and I don't have to wear it around my, around my neck. Um, then I need two other cards, which is my ATM card and my ID. So for me, I kind of have a minimum of four cards I can carry. I do carry six. I also carry my insurance card and then a backup credit card in the Accenture wallet, but that's more because I can. I probably don't need to on a, on a daily basis. I know when I'm going to go to the doctor and need my insurance card, um, you know, and I don't really ever need a backup credit card. My credit card works fine. And if, you know, if anything ever does happen, I have my debit card and I have cash that I can always pay with. Um, so for me, four is the number that I need, and then I always, I don't, actually I don't always carry cash, I usually have a few bills on me. So for me, I've got my two cards here. Now you can fit more than two, or excuse me, you can fit more than one in each of these. Um, I don't like doing that because again, I like to have my the quick access to the, to the two cards, and you can actually slide them out on top of each other. Now these are just generic RFID cards, you know, a credit card that has the printing on it, um, you know, you can put them kind of back to back, you know, and have it facing down and facing up and they'd probably slide fine. Um, so you could still have, you know, kind of access to, to two quick draw cards. But for me, for my use case, I like to do one and one and then cash goes in the middle. Now what they've done is they've got kind of the two thirds, one third, if you can see that. And the reason is that way you can kind of pinch it together and the cash fits right in. Now I do have a little bit of a concern with things catching on these cards when you're pinching it, but usually, I mean, you're only gonna do that when the wallet's in your hand, so I think that's unlikely. If you start loading this up though, with a whole bunch of cash, and then if you try to fit a bunch of cards in there, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, sorry, is it the, sorry, this is four, and then I was counting the other two, six total cards, um, you'll see what starts to happen. And this, this would, uh, this would get better as the wallet became broken in, you can see it's even hard just getting those. I'm just gonna put in two. Good Lord, okay. So I put in one, I'm gonna put in three more. So that was six bills and four cards. And now you can see, now these two cards here are sticking out. And that's where I'd be concerned, you know, putting this in my pocket like this. Uh, and it would get better as it was broken in, but I think four cards on the inside plus some bills, this wallet is not made for that. It's, it's, I think if you were, if you were gonna, if you, you know, if you needed six cards and you were dead set on, on using this wallet and six cards was the answer for you, I would do two on each outside pocket and two in the middle. Um, and again, even there, we're starting to stick out. Uh, that would get better once it was broken in. But I think four cards is the answer with some bills. And then you'll see even there, we do have it a little, sticking out a little bit, but I'm, I'm confident that would get broken in no problem. And that again, and this is six bills. Let me just double check. Two, three, four, five, six. You may not carry six bills. I don't often, or I don't always carry six bills. It probably fluctuates for me between one and probably about six or seven. Um, so you can see how, how well that works. Then when you need to access cash, so for me, you know, the way I like to do is I half the bills and then I, I don't put them in a lump. I put them next to each other. So then if I need to access cash, I can just pull out my smaller bills. Or if I know it's going to be a bigger purchase, I can pull out, go straight to the bigger bills. Uh, it's okay for that. It's not as good as the Accenture. It doesn't quite open up as well as the Accenture wallet does to get cash out. But it's, it's not bad at all. It's very doable. Um, so that's what it looks like for me. Uh, so six... Six bills, four cards, I would say is about where it maxes out. 
uh, you know, if you can live with three cards, I think this is great. Uh, or if you're someone who doesn't do cash, I think this is great. But if you're not going to do cash, then you don't need, you know, the wallet doesn't need to be this wide. It can be much shorter than this. You're better off with one of those ones that's essentially just, you know, two, two cards and, a, and a, an elastic band. Uh, you might as well just get one of those if you don't do cash. So speaking of the dimensions, I think they did a, a, a good enough job with the dimensions. Now, you've heard me say before, if you've watched my stuff, 2.75 inches is the correct uh, width for a wallet. And you'll see that's what the Accenture wallet is, is 2.75. Uh, that's the, I think that's the smallest width you can have and still hold cash comfortably. This is a little bit bigger than that, but it's under three. And generally, I'm fine. Anything under three I can live with. Uh, but, you know, the Dapper Hyde wallet that I did a little bit ago, that's over three. And that just immediately annoys me in my hand. Anything over three just, just starts to bug me and is just inefficient. You just don't need it. So this could be a little bit smaller for, for me, uh, but it's not bad. It still works. Fits in my hand fine. Um, and then it is four inches. Now, it's listed on, online at 1.7 inches. I don't know how they came up with that. Uh, you know, a, a card isn't even isn't even 1.7. So you know they're claiming that it's that it's even smaller than a credit card, um, but it's it's just under three inches by four inches. So you know if you look at the Accenture wallet, the Accenture wallet is a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can do it on the other side. Maybe you can see a little bit better. A little bit thinner um, in this dimension, and then. Quite a bit shorter, but at least for me, I'm not. I, I don't mind so much this dimension. Uh, it still fits in my pocket fine. You know, you have to e even, even the the Dapper Hyde wallet. I don't even mind. You know, f you know, four and four and a quarter, a little bit more than four and a quarter. Uh, so you know, I, I don't mind this this dimension here. It's the it's the width that really bugs me when it's over three. This is under three, so it's fine. Uh, I think it could be a little bit smaller. And then this is the big difference. This is why you get the Bellroy over the Accenture wallet. Uh, to sit on this is a lot more comfortable. <laughs> you know, this for, you know, I love this wallet. It's my daily driver. Uh, but I will say the one thing is that it's a trifold and it doesn't need to be a trifold. Uh, and you end up with just a lot of layers of not cards. You know, there's just a, a bunch of layers of leather and nylon that you don't need. And so, you know, that's where the Bellroy is, is really beneficial is in the is in the thickness um, of where you where you sit on it so I'm gonna try to use this as a daily driver for a bit because I can live with four cards and and, and six bills and I'm gonna see how it works I think it'll be fine uh, I, I still just think for $65 I do think it's gonna end up being more of a wallet that I use as a, when I need to use a front pocket wallet or when I go out that type of thing not my daily driver wallet and that's where $65 just feels like a lot for that for that type of use case Hope you enjoyed. Stick around for more reviews.